What's going on guys, it's Shu, and in today's video I have a class setup I know you guys are going to enjoy. Everybody uses this gun and I'm going to show you guys how to make this gun better. And this gun, if you didn't know, is the M4A1. You, If you play this game you know what it is, everybody uses it, it's the most overpowered gun in the game. It's just the best gun overall. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it that next step and make it even better than everybody else's. So starting off on the class, on the muzzle, I'm running the mono suppressor. This gives you sound suppression and damage range. So basically they can't see where you're shooting from and you get damage range. That's a huge plus. It does get rid of aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness, but this thing is like one of the best attachments in the game. I run it on a ton of classes. Um, anyways, for the next attachment, we are running the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel. This is my favorite barrel to use on this gun. It adds damage range. Yeah, it's even more damage range because you know it's suppressor, it's even more. Adds bullet velocity, which is a huge plus, and recoil control. If you want a strong gun, boy, that recoil control is gonna be needed. You know what I mean? Because like usually the stronger guns have more recoil because it just makes more sense. But with the recoil control here, it's giving us recoil control and damage. So it's a good plus. It does get rid of aim down sight speed and movement speed again, but it's not gonna matter. You'll see why the rest of the attachments take care of that. So the next attachment, as I just talked about, takes care of it, is no stock. This gives you a bunch of movement speed and a bunch of aim down sight speed. You can see that green bar and mobility going up a ton, a stupid amount, like a lot. Like that's probably the most I've ever seen a green bar go up. But it does get rid of aiming stability and recoil control a little bit. But as you saw from the last attachments, it takes care of it. Okay, the next attachment I'm running is the 60 round mag. Uh, this, You know what this does, it just gives you more ammo. In 60 rounds, you know, that's a ton. That's, that's a lot of bullets for the strong of a gun. Uh, it does get rid of aim down sight speed and movement speed a little bit. Doesn't matter, I just showed you stuff that increases it. The last attachment that I'm running on this gun is the commando foregrip. This gives me even less recoil and it does get rid of movement speed a little bit, but it doesn't matter, the gun feels amazing. I use this. Um, in multiplayer and in Warzone, I use this gun. I do change the rest of the class up, but I use this exact gun in Warzone and multiplayer. It works fantastically in both. So for the rest of the class, I'm running my big rev revolver. If you don't know what this is, this is the three point, uh, the point three five seven revolver. I pretty much in like four of my class set of videos, I've used this. So I'll probably just quickly go over it because I don't want to sound like I'm repeating myself. I got the long barrel on it. This just makes me shoot faster damage range this increases hip fire this makes me able to shoot faster the snake shot is the big reason why i run this it increases damage in general and makes this gun a one shot and then i run a kimbo so i have two of them this is a super toxic class setup i've seen it in multiple videos you'll see it in the gameplay it's super overpowered it got nerfed and it's still broken as for perks i'm running eod this is just reduced damage from explosives i don't like dying to explosives especially when i'm streaking up so this helps me with that i'm running ghost so uavs and stuff don't know where i'm at because if i'm streaking i don't want them to know where i'm at it's just no good for the last uh perk that i'm running is amp this is just faster weapon swap that's all i do i just like to be able to switch super quick because if i have to reload this clip even though i'm running 60 round mag occasionally i might run out of ammo so i want to be able to switch to my pistol super quick just to give me that one up advantage for my lethal i'm running c4 you know what C4 is, you can just throw it, blow it up. If you use Warzone, you probably you probably use C4 because if you want to blow a car up, this is what you're going to use. So for my tactical, I'm running the stem shot. If you want nukes, you have to run the stem shot. You'll see in the gameplay, I get low many, many times and the stem shot bails me out. Gets my health right back up to 100 and I can re-challenge them or run away, whatever I need to do. Like Without the stem shot, I would not have nearly as many nukes as I have now. But um, if I am running Warzone, this class, I do run a heartbeat sensor. Basically what this does is it shows you enemies around you in like a 60 meter radius or something like that. But I have this class set up, set up for multiplayer right now. But as I said, you can use this in Warzone. It is fantastic. But anyways, I hope you guys do try this class out. And if you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We upload daily. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys my new gameplay that I got with this. And it's been you guys. Peace out.
need to activate guns just out of double XP and double weapon XP.